I keep the cancer patient in mind every second of every day. My name is Corey Painter. I became interested in science in general um, when I was a technician and I saw what you do in the kind of data that you can produce and the types of questions that you can answer. I fell in love with it. When I was at the later stages of graduate school, I was um, diagnosed with a very rare and very aggressive cancer called angiosarcoma. And I decided maybe it's time that I went into something a little bit more clinically relevant. I decided to pursue a career in cancer immunology using what I had learned as a graduate student in the field of immunology and applying it to a model organism. In order to study cancer, you, it's, it's very difficult to go inside of a human being and, and look and see what's going on. And so in order to ask specific questions about what the immune system is doing with cancer, you need what's called a model system. So my model system is the zebrafish. And the reason that I've chosen this to study is because you can see right through the skin. So it's very good for looking at the actual trafficking of the cells. You can manipulate it genetically very easily, so you can introduce genes and see what effect these have on the T cells or the tumor cells themselves and how that affects the interplay between the immune system and the, the cancer. First off, the cancer that is in the fish is actually driven by the human transgene BRAF V600E, which is one of the main mutations found in human cancer. And unfortunately, with human BRAF-driven melanomas, people that go on BRAF inhibitors, what they invariably experience is massive regression of their tumors, but then they get outgrowth of resistant um, clones of that cancer. We see the exact same thing in the fish. The number one thing that excites me about cancer immunotherapy is the fact that it applies to multiple subtypes of cancer. So as a cancer patient and a researcher, I'm very motivated to try to find answers that will help all cancer patients. I'm going on over three years now being cancer free. Every single day I'm contacted by people that are in various stages of fighting this disease and they all want to know what's, what's up and coming and I get to tell them exactly what I'm doing. It's the cancer immunotherapies that are coming to play that are going to save your lives. It's just a matter of time before this becomes mainstream and I think to a large extent it already has in certain cancers and we're just kind of waiting for it to penetrate some of the, the more rare subsets of cancers. I cannot overstate the importance of funding CRI. It's truly a worthy goal um, to try and take part in whatever way you can um, in the development of these immunotherapies as they come online.